Hola, mi nombre es Lisa y aquí está viendo WatchMojo.com. Hi, I'm Lisa for WatchMojo.com and I'm here with my lovely model, Raquel Martinez. And we're here to give you the look for Cinco de Mayo. It's a super spring, festive, fun, colorful makeup application. So I'm going to show you how to do it now. So I'm going to start with some minerals, loose foundation in canvas. Take a small brush, grind it in, and just work all over the face. Just because she has a beautiful structure, I don't want to do too much color on the face. I will take a little bit of iced coffee, loose foundation. It's a little bit of a darker shade. It's actually my shade. I'm going to use that just to like sculpture around the cheekbones and just along the jaw. Now, I always like to throw a little bit of color on to begin with, just so we don't feel like completely stark naked. I'm going to use this one. I love this one. This is the Arbonne Bronzer. I use a bunch of different products, but they have to kind of respect the same philosophy talc free, paraben free, all natural color. So the Arbonne bronzer is really one of my favorites. I'm using a big squirrel pointed dome powder brush. Super, super soft. That way you get a nice sheer light application. Go across the tops of the cheeks. It's beautiful, it has a little bit of a gold fleck in it. Go across the forehead, bridge of the nose, top of the chin. Next what I'm gonna go into is some Aveda colors. I love this little thing. This one's called Aqua Pearl. We're gonna use the light yellow as our base shade. This is a round angle brush. I think this is a very interesting because you can use it all over the face, but it's great on the eyes as well for applying color all over the lid. Some people call this the idiot brush just because you can't really go wrong with it. So that sweep of yellow, with a little bit of pearl in it, and just go ahead and bring it a little bit further out. Extend it towards the temple. You can double this up. You can use this to highlight the tops of the cheekbones even if you want to. We're going to go into the second shade and this is going to look a nice minty green, a little bit of pearl reflect, something that has a little bit of shine. Definitely great for like a party atmosphere. So we're going to use this one. It's the Mini Deluxe Fluff. It's a double ended. We're going to use the wider side, pick up that main color, and we're going to fill in the entire lower lid with this. Sometimes we have these colors that don't really go on really opaque and you don't really see a lot of the color right away. My suggestion for that is take a little bit of toner, a little bit of water, a little bit of saliva, wet the brush first and then pick up your color. You're going to see the color is going to be a lot more opaque. You're going to get a lot more coverage out of it. It's going to last longer on the eye as well. We're going to use this to give a definition of the crease and to line with it. I'm going to just flip the brush and use a little small little tip on it and this is the mini side of the fluff. So basically you're going to be lining top and bottom. We're going to go a little bit wider in the outer corner and we're just going to pull it out just to exaggerate the line a little bit. And then bring it back into the crease. So you can basically see it's kind of like a little V-shape. It's going to give that real cat eye appearance. When I finish with the greens, I go right back into the yellow again. I put that underneath the arch of the brow and pull it downwards. That way the two colors meet and they will blend together. And then I'm going to highlight with the same brush, same color, inner corner. Okay, so now that you've finished with the color on the eyes, we're going to go into defining the eyebrow. We're going to give something really nice and delicate, not a Frida Kahlo kind of look. I'm using a color from Arbonne. It's called Java. It's a beautiful warm brown. Really, the style these days is not like super stick skinny eyebrows. Raquel has a gorgeous full brow, nice arch, not too skinny. When you finish applying the color, just take a little spoolie brush, brush it through, softens it, integrates it, makes it look a lot more natural. Okay, so it is Cinco de Mayo. It is a celebration. I'm going to grab this little pencil. It's called Peacock. It's an automatic. There's no wood. Just roll it up. It's very, very soft. We're going to do the waterline. Put it on the waterline and go right into the lash line as much as possible. Okay, so we're not going with any black eyeliner in this case, but we're going to use a little black mascara. We're going to do the tops and bottoms of the lashes. Take our spoolie, give it a little 45 degree angle, scrape off what you need. So it's a little back and forth, a little zigzag, a little saw motion. Okay, so what I'm going to do is that now that we have the eyes done, we're going to start working on the lips. But before we do that, we want to bring a color into the middle of her face, onto the apples of her cheeks, just to tie together. I really like this one. This is like Apricot Whisper. This is a real, one of those things that you like swirl together and it gives you little nuances, different colors. Who knows? It's a Veda. Swirl it together and hit the apples of the cheeks. 
So because we've done a little bit of bronzer, we put that apricot whisper onto the top of the cheeks. I want to give her a little bit more extra glow. This is a little product called um, a Sheer Glow Highlighter, and this is also from Arbonne. It's in a cream. And just hit the top of the cheekbone and just pat it on. And using your ring finger or your pinky finger is ideal for this type of application because it has the least amount of muscles, so you're not punching yourself in the face or anything. So we finished with the eyes, the face, we're gonna move on to the lips now. Really, this is gonna be the topper. We're talking about Cinco de Mayo, we want a lot of color involved here. So we're gonna use a sable lip brush, very important that for a high quality lip brush. And we're gonna use the Aveda Renourishing, Rehydrating Lip Glaze in, I believe this is cherry blossom. Really, really nice, punchy color. Take a little bit of that. What I love about these products is that they feel really good going on. They have a little mint base to them, so they actually refresh the breath as you're wearing them. And there you have it, how to do the perfect Cinco de Mayo makeup. It's a perfect spring makeup, party makeup. I'm just gonna throw a little flower in there, jazz it up a little bit. Raquel, did you know that Cinco de Mayo is uh, based on the war that was between the Mexicans and the French in 1862 in Puebla. It's really a celebration of Mexican culture now, kind of like Oktoberfest or St. Patrick's. So tell me, Raquel, what do you think of your makeup? Me encanta, Lisa. Vamos a celebrar. Ah, sí. Okay, feliz Cinco de Mayo.